You know what I actually want to see real fast, guys? It is a video about the um, Arthas Minithil, obviously. So uh, let's see what this is, guys, <laughs> and we'll, we'll watch it, alright? Let's see here. There's a fly in my room, and it... One sec. Give me one sec. One sec. I got it! Oh! Yo, I got it! Holy crap! I got it in the air! I did like a slap! Holy crap! I'm gonna go wash my hands because there's fly poop on it. Give me a sec. Okay, let's see. Lore in short, Arthas Menethil. Let's peep this out, guys. Arthas Menethil, son of King Tyrannus Menethil II, the ruler of Lordaeron. As a promising young paladin, Arthas was trained in combat by Muradin Bronzebeard and learned the ways of the light under Uther the Lightbringer. Yeah. Soon after his induction into the Knights of the Silver Hand, a plague gripped the Northlands of Lordaeron. Dude, this is sick, man. I... I joined Arthas to help investigate an insidious disease that caused the dead to rise again. Oh, After fighting the infected undead, we encountered the necromancer Kel'Thuzad and discovered his plans to infect outlying villages under the orders of the dreadlord Mal'Ganis. We set out to stop the demon before he could reach his next target, the city of Stratholm. But we arrived too late. The citizens had already consumed poisoned grain that would doom them to yeah. rise into undeath. To stop the plague from spreading further, Arthas ordered his knights to purge the entire city. The city must be purged. Uther and I were horrified and refused to obey his cruel command. Those who remained loyal to Arthas joined him and began the culling of Stratholm. Oh, shoot. Arthas sought vengeance upon Mal'Ganis, but the demon slipped away to the frozen land of Northrend. While leading his forces in pursuit of Mal'Ganis, Arthas came upon his former mentor, Muradin, searching oh, for no. a powerful blade called Frostmourne. When the sword was found, Muradin read its inscription and warned the prince that the weapon was cursed. But oh, Arthas shit. believed that the blade would give him the power to save his people. Surely. <laughs> when the weapon broke free, a shard of ice struck Muradin down. Heeding the call of Frostmorn, Arthas claimed the sword and left Muradin for dead. With Frostmorn in hand, Arthas confronted Mal'Ganis, who oh. told him the voice he was now hearing was that of the Lich King, Ner'zhul. Obeying his new master, <laughs> Arthas slew the Dreadlord and abandoned his troops as he pushed deeper into the frozen north. When Arthas oh, returned to Lordaeron, the kingdom rejoiced at the homecoming of its beloved prince. Oh no. But that joy turned to ashes when Arthas entered the throne room and ran the accursed blade through his father's heart. Arthas scourged the land in the name of the Lich King, Ner'zhul. To reach the throne of his master, Arthas had to face Illidan, Illidan Storm yeah. Rage. After a grueling battle, the victorious Arthas ascended to the frozen throne. He drove his blade through the ice, Releasing the spirit of Ner'zhul from its icy prison. The two beings merged into one and became the true Lich King. Dude. Should he rise again from the frozen north, all of Azeroth will face his wrath. This is sick, man. I like these kind of things. It... it it really reminds me of y'all know y'all remember when um, Battle for Azeroth was announced and they did those little short videos about all the um, about Garrosh and like uh, Kargath and all those guys. I think it was called Warbringers, right? That was so good as well. I okay BFA not the greatest of expansions in my opinion. I like the leveling, but those trailers were so good, man. Was that Vod? Oh yeah, that was Vaught, not BFA. Sorry, I got the, I got the two confused. 
I got the two confused. It was Wallace's Raynor. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That was so sick, man. Like, that, that was so awesome. And honestly, I know this is like wishful thinking. It will be so dope. Imagine if Blizzard did like a similar thing to Arcane, okay? Here it comes. But it did, they did it with like, you know, Arthas's, like his whole story, right? Of him growing up as a paladin, becoming a strong, like, you know, aligned citizen, and then eventually get, getting corrupted and the culling of Stratholme and all those things. It could be so sick, okay? Like in the same kind of style, um, it doesn't have to be real live action movie, right? Like like with actors and stuff like that. If it was like an animated, like like Arcane was, that would be so cool. It would be really cool. I, I'm, I'm really surprised they haven't capitalized on that. But, um, and the thing is, WoW has so much more than just... Arthas too, like all the the Warbringers trailers, like you could follow like Corgath, or you could follow like a random. It, there's a lot of things to really capitalize on that, right? I don't know. I think it's cool. I, I think it's cool. And 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 Arthas, obviously, for me personally, is like peak WoW, peak peak Warcraft, right? So that story would be definitely be pretty dope. Um, Walker Warbringers when? Oh my god. Um, but yeah, pretty freaking good uh, video, man. I like the fact that they had uh, Jaina like voice acted, which is pretty dope. Nice to hear Jaina telling the story of the man she loved. True, true. What you did to Arthur's in Shadowlands is still unfor unforgivable. <sighs> Didn't he get disenchanted? Like, like actually, uh, I feel like some things, man, they should just leave be. Right, like, Arthas had an amazing story, he had the whole, like, the whole corruption with Nershul becoming the Lich King and eventually getting defeated, and like, you know, that's, you guys, you guys all know the trailer with like, my son, you know, and like, I see only darkness before my eyes, like, all that stuff, that was a perfect ending, they don't have to bring him back just to disenchant him, like, oh my god, he turned into 35 anima, exactly, it was, it was a good story, right? I feel like a lot of the things, a lot, a lot of a lot of stuff what people do nowadays is like they try to have like a happy ending or something to everything. Not everything has to have like a happy ending, right? Uh, for those things.